at the moment, there is no need for me to say how challenging the current circumstances are. And I'm taking this time because I would like to share with you some of the things I've been doing that in a way have helped me navigate the situation. Because I've struggled with my business and I've been sharing because most of my business as a public speaker and communication coach and trainer, most of it was happening offline, if you like. And over 90%, well, I would say 100% of that business is now gone. And it happened out of the blue, as you all know. Probably something like that may have happened to you as well. And it is what it is. We cannot control that, can we? We don't control the external that well. Or not at all. And now we're all isolating and I'm spending time with my family, full time with my wife. I don't know if she's enjoying it. I'm going to ask her. I usually ask her every day, see how she's doing. With my brother, we have a flatmate, we have the cat, we have everybody and all of those dynamics in here and we obviously not going out. And that's an interesting challenge. It's a very good one. It depends on how you look at it. So what I want to share with you is how we are creating our reality. Because whatever, regardless of what's happening out there, we take all of that information through our senses, filter them, and then our neurology creates what we see and experience as reality, which in a way is distorted. Regardless of what you like to think, we all distort our reality. And in a way, that's why we're all different, because we all interact with our different realities differently. So, what is my point? As I said, you are filtering. We all filter things, yeah? And I'm making it just simple to understand. And we turn this into something playful even, because we can begin changing this. What I would like you to give away today is a, a strategy to gain flexibility, regardless of that situation. So as I said, we got these filters, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've been speaking for a long time today. But again, I still have got the energy. So here I continue. So you've got your filters. And those filters can be your beliefs or are your beliefs, your values, experiences that you've had in the past. And all of that is creating your representation of the world. That's fine, understood. So how are you at the moment? We all have challenges, if you want to call them challenges. We all want something. In a way, we can be unhappy about things. What is that situation that you are not happy about? What is that thing that you would like to change? And the change will start by changing one of these filters, okay? And I'm not going to give everything, you know, in one go, for instance, because it can be too much. And I'm sharing just the personal thing that I do, which works a lot. I work with my beliefs. So whatever that situation is, I ask myself, what do I believe about that situation? Because remember, those filters are made out of beliefs as well. So if at that point I ask myself, what do I believe about that situation? It's the first point. What do you believe about that thing that you're not happy about? What do you believe about that thing that you would like to change, that situation, that circumstance, that challenge, that dynamic with your partner, with your family, with your boss? Think about whatever that is. And then what I'm going to give you is a download. So there's going to be a link at the bottom or whatever it gets placed because I still don't know where it's going to go, but there's going to be a link that is going to allow you to download what I like to call beliefs of excellence. And I did say this was going to turn into a bit of a game. Yeah, it's just like, you know, think about you playing a table game and you got this card that has got different beliefs of excellence or resourceful beliefs, empowering beliefs that you're going to use to change that filter to change that belief about that situation at that moment. And you're going to pick the one you like or different ones and notice how the situation changes. I see these beliefs, again, going back to making it playful, as wearing a jacket. So I'm wearing this jacket now, 
and potentially I'm filtering that reality and it's just turning into something negative that is not serving me, okay? So what I do, I take this off and I try on a new one or a different one, which is actually one of these empowering beliefs or beliefs of excellence that you're going to find on that download that I'm going to be sharing. And then notice how the situation changes. It is as simple as that. We can change our reality by changing our perception. And a way to change that perception is by playing with our beliefs. We carry many limiting beliefs. Become aware of them. Because they're usually playing us as well. So we're perceiving a situation as negative. What do I believe about that situation? What if I believe something different? What would be an empowering belief? What would be a positive belief or a belief of excellence or something that could change my perception for the better? That's my tip. I think it's really simple. I'm sure it is. Play with it. Try on a new jacket. Or it's just like, you know, wearing different pairs of shoes and see how you walked on them. Try different things. Because regardless of what's happening out there, you remain in control. Always remember that you remain in control. You are in control of the way in which you react to, to other people. You're in control of everything you do, really. So if you think about it, the environment is just there and you decide what to take. If you can get to that level of flexibility, you're in charge, you're in control. You can turn any negative into a positive, challenges into an opportunities. And off you go. And that's an amazing way to create. And that's an amazing way to live life as well. That is my tip to you. Thank you so much for listening. It's been a pleasure. My mouth is a bit dry. As I said, I've been speaking a lot today because going back to these beliefs and taking that uh, information from the environment and uh, turning it into opportunities, I'm doing loads. I'm working on the communication you know, with my, with my wife. I'm creating trainings online, new offerings, coaching my brother, supporting people. And that's the beauty of it when you gain that flexibility. So putting into practice, download the document, enjoy it. And then if you have any questions, send them my way. Wish you an amazing success. Enjoy. Take care. Stay home for the time being. Thank you very much again.